Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. I find myself once again at the gate door to Makoto's house. It's a familiar sight of this point, but there's a different air to this visit. She takes a seat at her bed, leaving me to sit on the chair she uses at her desk. Makoto doesn't say anything, but I can tell that she's breathing heavily. She opens her mouth to say something, but nothing comes out. I notice that she's visibly shaking. Hey, you don't have to force yourself. No, I need to do this. Sorry, just give me a second. Makoto takes a deep breath. Can I ask you to hear me out completely before saying anything or asking any questions? Okay. Oh boy, hopefully you, you, you show me you have no thoughts at this point, okay? Thanks. Is there anything I can do to help in terms of the workload? Hmm, do you have any experiences experience with video editing, video ripping software or streaming? Hi. Here's a streamer who's who's been streaming for five years and he edits his own videos for within those five years. And uh, well, uh, VTuber too. <laughs> so um, yeah, and still doing it. As for the relationships I talked about earlier, my parents and uh, the friend I made as a VTuber. I think for my parents, I still want to continue choosing my own path in life. I believe that in time, they'll come to understand what I want for myself. But I want to become a better daughter regardless. I think when this is all over, all over I'll have a long talk with them. I know they'll come to understand. It's just how family is, right? Mm -hmm. As for my friend, there's something that I want to do. But I need to think about it more. I'll let you know once I've found my answer. I want you to be there with me. Of course. I think that just leaves my most immediate problem that has to be addressed. My anniversary stream is only in three days. How much is there still left to do? Um, well, there's the final checks I have to do with the art pieces I commission, making sure everything is set up correctly with my vendor for merchandise. I have to put together the visuals, such as the news for the merchandise, as well as the thumbnail for the stream. Okay, well, that isn't too bad. I also have to finish the script for my program, prepare the audio and video files I'll be using, as well as the audio assets, rehearse the songs I'll be singing, pick out the fan letters I'll be showing, choose the clips I'll be putting together as highlights for the year. You said it's, it's in three days, meaning we only have tomorrow and the next day to work on it. Had all this to do, and you were spending your last few days with me? Yeah, don't you feel special? Yeah, I feel special, alright. <laughs> so, how are we going to do this? I don't know. We'll just have to get it done, I guess. Can you come up early tomorrow? The last few days have been such a roller coaster, and I guess it hasn't stopped yet. I mean, we just. Yeah, probably. Okay, I'll come over early tomorrow. We should probably call it here for today, so we can get a good night rest for tomorrow. I think we've been lacking in sleep for the past two days. Agreed. I stand up and immediately notice my exhaustion from the events for of today, because it was just emotional exhaustion that I'm feeling. Makoto stands up and leads me out the, out the door. Makoto walks with me to the gate in front of her house. After I reach the gate, I turn to, to, to her. I guess this is, is it for tonight. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. Makoto immediately walks up to me and locks me in a warm embrace. Uh, uh, Ma Makoto? Psh, let me have this before you go. After recovering from being caught off guard, I return the hug. My heart is pounding so loudly that I'm sure Makoto can hear it. 
Stay like this for about 10 seconds until Makoto releases me. Thanks for that, and for everything yesterday. Of course, anytime. Thank you too for everything. Makoto smiles for a few seconds, for waving to me and turning to walk back to her house. I watch as she reaches the door to her house and turns her head to give me one last smile before entering her house. Then it was unlike the sad ones that she usually, usually gives. This one was of hope for the future. As uncertain as it might be, we'll walk down whatever path it takes us, together. Once again I find myself in front of Makato's place, but this time with newly found resolve and laptop in hand. Also with the worry that we won't be able to finish everything in time. I ring the doorbell to Makato's house and look around the neighborhood. It's a cold quiet morning, a neighborhood neighbor can be seen walking their blog no, no, the, 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 the dog. It's such a nice morning. It probably helps that last night was the first night that I had didn't sleep way past midnight. My thoughts are interrupted as Makoto opens the door and comes out to open the gate. Good morning. Good morning. Feels a bit weird to say that. I haven't gotten out of bed this early in a while. It's kind of nice. Makoto gestures to me to follow her and we make our way to her room. I take a seat on the floor of Makoto's room and sign to my laptop. Makoto takes a seat at her desk. So, what grunt work do you have for me? Hmm, well, you could start by massaging my shoulders. I sure can see how that directly helps with your anniversary stream. <laughs> but actually, could you find some clips I could use as highlight moments to show for the for this year? Just find some of my most popular moments and find which one they're from, and let me know when it happened. Okay, I'll make sure to pick out the most embarrassing moments for this year. Hmm, what was that? Can you repeat that? I said I'll pick out your cutest and coolest moments for this year. <laughs> ah, okay, I thought I misheard you for a second there. Makoto turns her chair and gets to work on her computer. I open the lid of my laptop and start researching what clips I could give to her. After some time I found a good amount of clips that I can give to Makoto. There's a few clips of her most intense boss fights, there are some funny moments, some clumsy and cute moments. Going back and seeing these moments made me a bit nostalgic, even though it hasn't been there that long. These types of moments are what got me through some dark, some dark times. Hey Makoto, I'm going to send you the list of clips. Makoto turns to me and stretches her arms. It seems like she was working out of some image editor. Thanks. There's something that came to mind when I was looking at these clips. I think you can already piece it together from what I've told you, but about half a year ago, I was in a pretty bad headspace. Oh, hi, Omori! Stop! <laughs> I wasn't able to find the kind of relationship I was looking for after entering university, so I was pretty depressed and lonely for a bit. While looking at some of your best moments, they remind me of how I was able to get through those thoughts tough times. I turned to your content and a lot of it was made light for a while. I don't think I went about it in the most healthy way afterwards, using it as a replacement for what I was looking for. But I still value the experiences I have had. So if anything, I'm at least one person whose life you were able to make brighter through VTubing. I'm really glad to hear that. I hope I can continue making your life a bit brighter, both as Mana and as Makato. And I do help you find what you are looking for. I think I have. Eh? I immediately get embarrassed and look away from Makato. I clip my throat to clear out the awkwardness. What? By the way, you haven't eaten yet, have you? Let me stop by the store to grab some food for us, so you can continue working. Uh, yeah, thanks. Here, use this key to lock the door behind you and to let yourself in. Thanks, see you soon. Oh. I arrived at the store where Makoto and I had first met. I let out a deep sigh. I'm still kind of crazy about Makoto, aren't I? 
Still don't know where our relationship is at. Uh, hmm. Well, at the very least, we're friends, I guess. But I think we've shared some really personal experiences that just saying we're friends might be reductive. Definitely friends with benefits, but it's more like friends plus us. You're out of the friend zone, definitely. But you both are in, in kind of a weird place between friend zone and not friend zone. What is the what is what if you go from the friend zone to the relationship relationship zone? No problem. Or maybe I'm reading too deep into this. Hmm. I haven't really explicitly asked her what she thinks about things. But maybe right now it's not the best time with the work she, we have to get on. I also don't really understand my own feelings all that well. I might be misinterpreting as well. It's probably something that should wait until after the anniversary stream. We're busy enough as it is. I'll be thinking about not making things uncomfortable for her instead of trying to rush things. Who would have known that not too long ago my life would change so much from meeting someone here. Life sure works in mysterious ways. Is it weird to feel nostalgic like this? And it's only been about a week. Hmm. I wonder where we're going to go from here on out. I let out a deep sigh. Even though I assured my god on so many things, I'm not confident at all in myself. I don't have very many answers to the problems laid out in front of us. And I can't help but feel like just being there for her isn't enough. No, I shouldn't think like this. I need to do what I can. Bring my hands up to my face, quickly slap my cheeks to try and dispel my anxiety. Let's get the food and go back. I open the door to Makoto's room to see her continue to be hard at work. Once she notices that I came back inside, she turns her chair to me and leans back. And her the keys as well as the vent box. Thanks. No problem. Are you making good progress? Yes, actually. I should be ready for the stream going at this pace. That's good. We both open our convenience store bento bottles and start eating. I guess now would be a good time to ask her about various things I've been wondering about. So, if you don't mind me asking questions about what it's like being mana. Go ahead, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff you're wondering about. Um, what's it like being famous? Hmm, well, it's cool, I guess. It's nice that I can keep my private life a secret. It's like I'm a superhero or a magical girl. Hmm, I might have went into weird places for a second. Not into the perverted ways. More like the... Oh, no, no, Medoka. The, the obvious downsides that it has, like how negativity will inevitably come when I bring so much attention to myself. I think the biggest thing is the validation I can get from all the people that support me. It's a double-edged sword. It's easy to fall into the trap of using your audience for self-validation. Jesus. But at the same time, it's not like people's impressions are not worth anything. My friends are not actually going to be supportive of what I do, but I try to be realistic about myself. Yeah, you sh seem to be pretty harsh on yourself, despite all the praise you get. I think you could definitely be more proud of yourself. Yeah, that's at all, right? I guess it might be. This is a bit of a vague question, but what do you think about the relationship between you and the men of hands? From a fan perspective, it's a bit hard to get noticed as an individual. You can see how you present yourself on stream and see how you interact with chat, but you kind of have to accept the fact that you'll never get to know us as individuals. I've actually thought about this a lot. It's kind of weird to think about, isn't it? You have one person able to have the majority of the agency in communication and the only way for the other side to make themselves known is through chat. Which can be impersonal. I can even choose to not read chat. I could make it completely one way almost. <coughs> I 
Um, I'm just. I hope nothing changed up there. Just, 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 just. I'm looking at you. Just. Even if I try my best to interact with chat, I don't know them as people, and they don't know me fully as a person either. And even so, I love them on offense. They've given me more than I can ever hope to return. I don't believe that the relationship we hold is just something as shallow as a way for me to make money or a way for mana fans to get entertained. Mad. This definitely is, is something special there, but it's different from other types of relationships. And I think it's easy for it to turn into an unhealthy relationship, both for the VTuber and the fan. Parasocial relationships are low. Yeah, I understand from my experience. I used the streamer viewer relationship as a way to substitute for what I wanted from a more intimate mutual relationship. Maybe they can give a similar feeling in some ways, but ultimately, ultimately, they're two different things. And I've experienced how easily it can be to fall into an obsession as well. It can happen to the VTuber as well. Developing an overall reliance on interaction with chat is a substitute for what they might really want. Or getting obsessed with someone because they ended up making things too personal. Has that ever happened to you? Obsession with someone? Nah, I try to keep a reasonable distance from my viewers. I think I might give them the wrong idea if I try to get close to them. Mm, this feels similar to something. I think I, it can work depending on the streamer. There's nothing wrong with getting to know someone who watches your stream. But you have to establish that interpersonal one-on-one -on -one connection first. And I don't think that's possible for me to do that with every viewer that wants to do that. I'm sure there are people out there that are nice and I would want to be friends with. But I can't be expected to try and get to know every single person that wants to get friendly. Yeah, that makes sense. It's hard to find the correct way to interact with my friends. On one hand, I want to get to know my community and I want to be able to acknowledge people. But at the same time, I don't want to create any expectation that our interactions will turn into anything more than a streamer viewer dynamic. I would feel partially at fault if, because of my actions, a viewer ended up developing an over-reliance with me despite the fact that I can't return the same attention. Even if it could be because the viewer misinterpreted you, I don't think you're at fault at all. Mm. I think there'll be people that develop that per social reliance regardless of what I do. Yep. But I want to think about the things that are in my control. It's impossible for me to invest the time and energy into acknowledging every one of my fans. But I don't want to just ignore them. Still think, trying to find that balance between being engaged with my fans or maintaining enough distance to not create any expectations. I can see how that would be difficult for streamers to deal with. There really doesn't seem to be an easy solution. The way people interact with any entertainment medium is complex and it doesn't help that streaming as a medium is fairly new. Add VTubing as another, even newer layer on top of that, and it becomes even more complicated. I'm still trying to understand my own experiences. Same here, this is also new to, new to me, so I'm constantly finding myself thinking and doing things that aren't healthy. Like developing an over-reliance on streaming at times. I was aware of what I should be looking for in my relationship with my viewers in terms of it being healthy and positive for them. But it's hard not just turn to streaming when I'm feeling lonely, or if I just want to escape from everything. Is there anything wrong with feeling like that though? I'm sure I would be do the same thing. I think the problem arises when you're just using it as a way to avoid your issues. In that case, I guess the problem isn't with VTubing itself, but with the mindset to try and escape from everything. 
But I guess there are times where the best thing to do is to try and just take a break from everything. VTubing is just a way to be able to do that, both from the streamer and viewer side. Yes, of course, when VTubing itself becomes a problem, like how we mentioned before about developing an unhealthy relationship. Yeah, I don't think there's a correct way to watch VTubers similar to how there aren't correct ways to consume other forms of media. But at the same time, there are ways you can go about it that will be unhealthy for you. And a lot of times it can happen without you knowing or without you wanting it. I don't know how to feel right now about this. First of, second of, why are you two looking at me right now? <laughs> I guess the best thing to do is just to try. Be aware of our experience with VTubing as much as possible. You might be right. Hey, why is, hey, why is it so complicated? I guess that's part of what makes it fun and interesting though. Here, I'll make it easy for you. The objective way to enjoy my stream is to forfeit all mortal possessions to me. Hey, you've said before that you don't need my money. I'll be happy if you just continue supporting me in your own way. I can do that. Makoto smiles at me before finishing her food. After cleaning up, she showed me some things to review and gave my opinion on as a few while she continued her own work. It would work silently, but occasionally make small talk as a break from work. This went on for a few hours. Hearts connected. Makoto leans back in her chair and stretches her arms above her head. I think that's stuff for today. Yeah, it's getting pretty late. What's the progress looking like? I should be able to get everything done by tomorrow night. That's good. I feel like I didn't do too much though. Is it too late to massage my shoulders? You're serious? I'll actually do it if you want. Oh, uh, sure, I won't turn down my free massage. After walking over to the back of Michael's chair, I put my hands on Michael's shoulders. She flinches when I make contact, but immediately calms her body. Start rhythmically exerting force on the tense muscles. Mm. From my perspective, I can really only see the top of Makoto's head. Her hair is a bit messy, but there's a certain charm to it. So, uh, this kind of reminds me of when my sister used to make me massage her shoulders. <laughs> oh, you were a good little brother, weren't you? If by good little brother you mean by being made to do it against by my will by my sister, then yes! I think that still makes you a kind brother. Wouldn't a kind brother have been willing to make it that act of kindness in the first place? It kind of goes back to what we talked about yesterday. About the person's natural self versus how they wish to be. I've been thinking about it lately. Not specifically about being a good brother, but about kindness. Before I thought that a truly genuinely kind person would just naturally be that way and not have mean or ugly thoughts come to mind. Does that kind of person even exist out there? When we observe people from the outside, then maybe. But unless we know exactly what they are thinking about, we'll never know. Honestly, it's probably impossible to always have nice thoughts. At least for me, it's definitely impossible. So you're saying it also matters how people present themselves? But I think there are definitely people who are more naturally inclined to have spiteful thoughts than others. I think so too, but it's kind of hard to tell since what we see is a combination of that and how they are able to deal with their thoughts. I'm not sure one is more valuable than the other though. Say, you had two people. One who naturally had a lot of awful thoughts but was able to present themselves kindly because they knew it's the right thing to do despite their natural tendencies. And one who just naturally always had really nice thoughts and also presented themselves that kindly. Can you really say that one is kinder than the other? 
I think the knee jerk answer many would give would be the latter. But it also shows a lot of mental fortitude to be able to act kind despite your natural tendencies to be mean. Now that you ask that, maybe neither can be said to be more kind than the other. Yeah, I think so too. Something I've recently opened my eyes to, from my experiences with you. I, I don't think I really did anything. But anyway, I think you're the one who's kind, going by either definition. Nah, I think I feel a lot f farther to go before I can call myself kind. I actually have a lot of bad thoughts and I have trouble expressing myself kindly. Maybe one day that kind self won't just be an aspiration. That makes two of us. Let's keep working at it together. Yeah. Not to notice the exhaustion in my hands after massaging my cuddle for the entire conversation. Release my cuddle's shoulders and start leaning on my cuddle's chair as support. Thanks. I give that a passing grade. In response to that unsatisfactory response, I flick the back of her head. Hey! I could have turns not really saying that my face was resting on my arm on top of her chair. Our faces are only inches apart. I both show slightly back in embarrassment. So, so uh, are, are you hungry? Did you want to go get dinner? Yeah, yeah sure. Actually, there's something that I need to do first. Oh, Makoto's expression suddenly shifts from embarrassment to serious. Yeah, what is it? You can see that Makoto is struggling to get her words out. I can only assume that this is something serious. Wait. Do you remember that friend I mentioned yesterday? The way to a friend I made while I was starting out? Yeah. I'm going to call her.